Welcome to Programming Knowledge. Today I'm going to talk about loop and about string which I use in the previous video. Let's go. Uh, first, with the loop we have two common loop types that we often use in Arduino. Uh, the for loop which I use in the previous video and the while loop. Uh, I will explain how the for loop works first and make an example then we will uh, make an example with uh, while loop. Okay, this is the procedure and how to create a for loop. In the for loop, we have four parts. First, uh, initialize loop variables. Uh, this means you have to create a begin value. And the second is check condition expression. This means uh, you have to check condition with the end value in order to uh, continue loop or exit. And the third, uh, you have you you execute the statement. It means you run the program in uh, loop and then you update variables. Uh, this means you will increase or decrease your uh, value you create. Okay? And the follow up is corresponding to for position. This is the loop syntax. Uh, first, you have to put the initialize here. The second is condition and your program run in the bracket. And the last one is update your variable. Okay, now I will make an example and explain. I have a plain project right here. Okay. And I will make an example right here. Uh, put right here. Now, for sample the fall of I have four. I will init the uh, variable. I will in j is zero. This means the loop will start from zero, and then if the condition is j uh, less than three, and update the variable we will increase by one, and then uh, I have a program right here. I kill. I will uh, bring something to the zero monitor. Again, uh, this mean uh, the follow-up will initialize the variable j is zero then check the condition check the condition if the condition less than three your program will be ex executed but if is greater than or uh, is three is will be out the loop okay and then it will increase variable one and instead of uh, initialize like this we can initialize the variable out of the loop like this and you just put change right here two way you can put outside or okay now i will run step by step for you now first j when j is zero j less than three right okay it's less than so the program will execute bring zero to serial and then uh, increase the j1 j plus plus and now j is 2 it is 1 right okay now when j is 1 j less than 3 right now the program will execute and spring 1 to serial and then j increase 1 now j is 2 and now when j is 2 J less than three, right? It will print two to zero, and then J plus plus. J now is three, and it will check when J is three. J cannot uh less than three, right? J cannot less than three. And the program not execute, and then it will out of the loop. Outlook, okay. That's a the program. This will run like this, okay. Now we uh, will compare to the results on serial monitor, okay. Now I will connect my Arduino. Don't care about this and about this. Don't care it because I just uh, write a program in this and check this, okay. Now board, you know board file, okay. Now we'll. Uh, I will 
open the serial port by this function one one five two zero zero okay now I will upload the code and check oh this serial part of uh, serial monitor e nine six zero zero I will change it okay then we'll change the bar rate to one one five two zero zero here it will bring zero two one two right bring zero one two like I said okay okay then we we'll use look to control less again uh, I have a diagram like this like this uh, reverse video like this here the the diagram will connect uh, pin 10 to left left pin 9 to left mid and the last one is A to the right okay now we're playing left to right or right to left by loops okay now open blink again uh, as I said um, in the reverse video you have to initialize pin mod one by one with pin you use but cannot use many setup line so that's the reason why I have a loop we have a for loop okay I will use this loop here from 8 J from A to 11 because it will uh, because uh, uh, if I put the 10 right here it cannot to, it cannot reach to 10 because uh, it will uh, come back to 10 and out so I will put 11 right here 11 right here okay and we'll put this function to the loop okay now I can uh, set up the uh, I forgot I will pass the chain right here okay now I can set up the pin mod 8 9 and 10 now I will turn on left from left to right or right to left I have a look in left I will here I will uh, digitalize here I will transfer J here, J here. It will turn on left from left to right. Okay, now I will upload the code. Let's see. Oh, sorry, this card is playing from right to left, not left to right. Sorry. Okay, so next I will use uh, two new functions that's the continue and break. So I will talk about continue first. Uh, the function continue is that it will ignore the program when you use this function so I will make an example um, I will turn on left right and left but don't turn on left bit okay let's say my continue function here I will make a condition if j is uh, left mid is 9 and if j is 9 I will make a continue. It means when J is 9, uh, the continue is executed and it will out of loop and then it will increase the J by 1 but it don't run this code. Okay, let's see. I will upload to my Arduino. It will ignore the mid led, right? Blink from right to left but ignore let mid. Okay, so uh, next a break function. This function will exit the loop immediately and it don't run uh, loop anymore, but it uh, exit the loop immediately. Let's see. I will make a break right here and upload the code. It don't turn on let left it just turn on left uh, left uh, right okay it just turn on left right and then increase chase by one and then if j is nine is break and out the loop okay okay that are two function is continue and break we are usually use when use loop now uh, we will move to the while loop 
okay while loop actually while loop it is similar to the for loop but it's slightly different from the syntax it also have four parts as for loop first it initialize loop variable but it's uh, different from this you have to uh, uh, we miss we must initialize this variable outside the loop if not your program may be error okay and next a check condition execute and update variable okay it's corresponding to for position like this we must initialize begin variable right here and then we have a while loop in why we have a condition run program after compare with the condition and then update the variable okay uh, I will reuse the sample above okay now I uh, will change a little bit this got to while I also have uh, in is j e0 a 3 z 0 then y j less than 3 I will print out J. Okay, let's see. Is SMS the four right? Oh, ah, sorry, I forgot to update the variable. If you don't update the variable, your program may be uh, uh, overload because it's uh, run uh, many many time. It looks forever. Okay. Okay, it also have three val val value like the uh, for loop. Okay, now we will use Y to make blinklet. I will change it to pin mod output. And this is 8. This is 11. Okay. And then this and will... It also have break and uh, continue. But uh, I don't use You can uh, uh, try to use it to see what's different between them. Okay, while J less than 11, okay, then blink. But now I want to blink it from left to right, so I will change it to 11, and this is greater than 7. Uh, this is 10. Okay, now I will J minus minus to uh, decrease the var variable okay let's check okay it blink from left, left to right okay so now I will move to the next session that is string I will clear it. clear all of this okay now uh, in the previous video, I used string, uh, but uh, now we'll introduce you some applications about string when you use this function. You usually put a string in this string, your string. But now we transfer a string parameters to this function by this. I have a string. Mm, my welcome string is uh, welcome to programming knowledge okay then I will pass it to this without the quotes okay let's check it also is executed okay and now if I want to combine two or more string what I have to do so I will do like this I also have a string my start string is let's go if we are lazy we can combine two string by this sign is plus my start string okay and then combine Okay, you see, 
Welcome to programming knowledge. Let's go. So uh, instead of that, uh, we usually combine string for uh, clearly, right? Combine is uh, my well come string combine with a spy and then combine with a my star string or combine with a new line for easily see okay now I will transfer I will put the combine to this and then upload okay welcome to programming knowledge why is print twice because I forgot to clear the old code right again we reset yes welcome to programming knowledge let's go okay well that's a few things about loop and string thank you for watching the video